I'll just kill it. Pull the trigger on them and be done with it already. Greetings, world of the internet. I am the great Matthew Squeak, and welcome to Squeal Talk at the Movies. It's time for the counterweight of Marvel. It's DC's turn to step up to the plate. This time, bringing us the insane ride through madness of Suicide Squad. I mean, just look at those commercials. Can this team of villains rise to greatness, or will DC continue its trend from Batman vs. Superman? How do you even do that? The characters. Of all the members of the actual Suicide Squad, only Deadshot is really center stage. They at least try to spend some time giving us a little backstory and sympathetic towards his character and make him work toward an actual noble goal. Everyone else is just boring. The character development almost doesn't exist. This team of super baddies don't even get a chance to socialize and build themselves as a team before getting flung into danger. At which point, it's time for action and adventure, and little chance for bonding. I don't care who these characters are or what they're doing. The plot. The Joker is not the main villain. He's not even the sub-villain. He is a distracting subplot, and most of it is just a distracting flashback of a subplot. The real villain is the Enchantress who is released accidentally by an amateur archaeologist who wanted to find out if the little stone statue she found was breakable by violently twisting its head. Well, that doesn't sound so bad. It's not the Joker the trailer promised, but it still could be a lot of fun, right? Wrong! The first half of the movie is solid character introduction, not character development, Character introduction, as they spend so much time doing this is that character, this is this character, this is that character, oh, and this is that character again. It's like they couldn't figure out how to introduce these characters, so in their infinite wisdom, let's do all of it. Introduce everyone one by one in their prison cells. Done. Now let's introduce them again with the cliched two people sitting at a diner with files from a binder. Done. And then more introductions, this time with cliched military meeting interrupted by an individual with a crazy idea with a PowerPoint presentation. Done. And then, just for good measure, let's go back to the prison and introduce everybody one more time with Amanda Waller briefly summarizing each of her new assets. At this point, I am just begging for some character interaction between these guys. They have done nothing but tell us who they are. I want to see them interact. But no time for character interaction and development. They get thrown into peril. And I don't care anymore. I'm not invested in the movie's plot anymore because it has done nothing but go, Oh look, we have Killer Croc. We have the Joker. We have the Flash. Yes, we have the Flash. All these comic characters are coming to life. You must love this movie. I am not impressed. Design. There really isn't a whole lot to look at here. We spend lots of time in prison and dark city streets. Not really a lot of explosions, and even the enemies are just sort of blobs. The character designs are pretty interesting, I can tell who is who, and they definitely go and try and capture the designs from the comics. Action scenes, though, weren't impressive. Maybe because it was so dark, I wasn't getting a chance to see properly, or most fighting scenes were of Deadshot's shooting stuff, or Harley Quinn doing whatever it is she's doing. As hard as they try to make her look awesome, all she really has is a bat, and I keep seeing that scene from Batman flash in my head. She tries so hard. Also didn't help that the character development doesn't exist. Overall, how does this keep happening? They botch Superman. They botch Superman versus Batman. How do you even do that? And now they've botched Suicide Squad. The movie is boring. 
The beginning gets boring very quickly, and second half barely picks up the pace at all. This is supposed to be a fun ride through insanity. Instead, we get a boring array of character introductions. DC is supposed to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Marvel, on par, capable of surpassing them even. Instead, they are coming out as amateur copycats. You know those obscure movie companies that create those obvious cash-in knockoff movies that try to trick you into buying them? That is what DC is right now. They're the cheap cash-ins into superhero popularity that Marvel has. And they need to get off their butts and fix it. No more hour-long character introductions. Just because our favorite comic characters are on the screen does not mean we instantly love it. Or else, the Justice League movie is going to suck. We all know it's coming. And at the quality of the DC movie so far, it's guaranteed to suck if they can't hurry up and figure out how to make good movies. And now, a moment with previews. Marvel showing its superiority. But that's almost too easy at this point. Way to get us hyped up and show us absolutely nothing! I'm intrigued. Less we see in the trailers, the more we want to see this movie. Another remake of a remake of a remake. Let's recap here. Superman sucks. Batman vs. Superman really sucks. How do you even do that? And Suicide Squad sucks. So following that pattern, Wonder Woman is going to suck too. I am the great Matthew Squeak, and this is Squirrel Talk. At the movies. I thank my loyal subjects for watching. Let's hope DC can get us together and fix their franchise. Please like and subscribe to me. Also, donate to my Patreon right here.